I do a lot of mining. And the easiest way to mine Bitcoin is going away. Hey, I'm Drew Voss. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. This is the Voscoin Mining Farm, where I actively mine with ASIC miners. We have hard drive miners deployed. And of course, we've done so much GPU, which is mining with graphics cards, GPU mining and CPU mining over the years. Today, I want to share with you some bad news. This is NiceHash. We've talked about NiceHash many times over the years. And they are now requiring that no matter how you have your account implemented or how you do it, even if you do what's considered anonymous direct to wallet mining, right? So I basically connect my miners to the mining pool. I utilize my Bitcoin mining address and then I get weekly Bitcoin payouts. And I'm mining Bitcoin on here, Dogecoin, Caspa, Alf, Alephium, right? And many other cryptocurrencies over time. They support a lot of other algos like CKB, uh, for example, Dash, uh, and again, many others. The point is though, KYC, know your customer. Starting the KYC process will be mandatory. My preference with mining pools is no KYC because it's decentralized. I mean, you're providing a service and I'm providing a service to you and we don't need to KYC each other, right? I mean, if somebody shows up at your house and uh, say they do your lawn work and then you pay them, do I need to run a background check on you and get your social security number and have every other piece of information on you? Maybe I'd like that, but it's not common. And I would say that that, that level of privacy invasion is, is unreasonable. Speaking of earning coins, there's this game called Gnome Mining. It's not really mining. It's a crypto game through a Telegram bot. Uh, but you essentially buy hash power, if you will, with their smart contract uh, with Solana. And then you get paid out in their token and you can expand your hash power and refer friends and they're donating to charity and they have havings built in and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a fun way to mess around. Uh, this isn't an endorsement or financial advice, but I do have a link that supports the channel down in the video description below if you want to check it out. I increased my mining game power by 50% since my original video and uh, I was supposed to break even in 40 days. So it'll be a fun update at day 40. If nothing else, maybe subscribe to see that update. You can of course go to other mining pools and mine all the coins directly. There are still many options for this that are KYC free. Uh, but a mining pool like this one doesn't have any sort of mine this and get automatic BTC payouts. There are some competitors that have a few of those features. Mining continues to be incredibly lucrative if you have the right mining devices. Most profitable miner in the world right now, and I assure you it's not going to stay this profitable with how many of these they're making, 44 bucks a day after accounting for my electricity rate, right? Personally, I think that most people will not use NiceHash if KYC is required. They haven't posted elaborate details on this yet, uh, but I imagine that US citizens may just be straight up banned altogether with this. I mean, US citizens cannot use their exchange. Why would you get to use this piece of what they offer? I asked NiceHash for clarity directly after I had recorded this video. And I do have some really good news that if a user from the US of A does complete KYC, they can continue to use the platform uh, so as it stands, US users are not getting kicked off if they complete KYC or know your customer requirements, which is you know, you know submitting your ID and uh, social security number and address, uh, you know, really some of your key private information. I know some people are going to turn to Unminable. Unminable is a nice hash alternative. This isn't a you know sneaky ad for Unminable or anything like that. I flipped some of my miners over there to compare mining profitability and I wanted to make sure I got my miners off of NiceHash before mandatory KYC was implemented to ensure I would have no downtime with my mining farm. They have a referral program and it's important because if you use a referral code, you pay a lower fee than if you don't use a referral code. So I've got my referral code down in the video description below. It would be awesome if you used it and supported our work. 
uh, helping us make content here all day, every day. At a glance, it's a great alternative to NiceHash. There are a few key missing mining algorithms uh, comparatively with these. Specifically, I would love to see a lithium support, which is not here. Most notably, they do support K heavy hash, which is Caspa. Uh, there are other main ASIC algos or Equihash, which is such a dead, dead algorithm, which, which not to pat myself on the back too hard here, but I, I called that back in 2018 over half a decade ago and look how that played out. Of course, everyone's always got SHA-256 and script. So they may not support as many mining algorithms, at least not yet, but they support a very big amount of coins that you can be paid out in. You can be mining all these different cryptocurrencies and say, okay, I want all of those paid out in SHIB, right? Not even a mineable coin. Uh, or you could be mining numerous cryptocurrencies and be like, you know what? I'm trying to get my Doge coin up. And sure enough, that is an option here. They're continuing to add more cryptocurrencies and they have a search feature, which is much appreciated. Another mining pool that has a few features like this, and we do also have a link to them in the video description below, is gonna be via BTC. They don't support a ton of different cryptocurrencies, uh, but they do have a few unique features on that front. I really do find this disappointing. Uh, I've been a nice hash user on and off uh, for different reasons for many years. And uh, yeah, they had their huge bounce back after their hack and stuff like that. And I, I don't really know what's going on, uh, you know, behind the scenes. And by the way, I obviously do not have any ill will towards NiceHash. I just simply find this news disappointing. Uh, I've enjoyed using NiceHash. I've had a good experience using NiceHash and I've had some pretty impressive mining returns some days using nice hash it's got my miners migrating to numerous other places here and even just going back to mining uh, bitcoin directly i still need to flip over my al zeros and al box from their pool and obviously i'm assuming you guys know how to do all this very straightforward and easy right this address up here i log in admin password one through eight there go to the mining settings take the mining pool address Really, you should probably take the time to do uh, backup pools, but between you and me, I'm not going to because I'm a mad man. And then I will save that. I'll come over here and punch that information in. A few minutes later. I click on home. I can see that it's already saved and corrected here. I restart it just for good measure. There's been some devices over the years that have caused me issues when they rebooted and lost the information they're supposed to be, uh, you know, working off of. Both of those have been saved and rebooted. Should be good to go on that front. And I will just go ahead and close them out and I will check for them on the mining pool side to make sure that they show up as they should. I've got my A11, which is dual mining ALF and RXD, uh, mining ALF here to this address. Um, I already switched over my Gold Shell AL Box 2 earlier before starting the recording of this video, and now I've got those two AL zeros headed this way. Uh, so I'll have to mess with this miner in person. It's an absolute pile of crap, heaping pile of garbage, as some people say. My AL Box by Gold Shell. The famous miner that was supposed to make like 100 bucks a day. So this is a gold shell dashboard. And when I go to access the dashboard of the original AL box, it's unresponsive. We're gonna have to, this has been a reoccurring issue. So I'll have to go and do a manual reboot, right? Literally pull the plugs out of that thing uh, or you know, power cycle it at the, uh, at the PDU that it's probably attached to or click the on off button, right? Obviously on a power supply. Uh, but see how it's spinning and loading it. It's unaccessible. So Honestly, who really cares since it's making like 50 cents a day? I don't even think that it covers its own electricity at this point, which is pretty frustrating It's supposed to make 80 cents a day, but that's the other thing mine's not hashing at the proper speed Yeah from a hundred bucks to literally one dollar a day, and I'm not even making a dollar a day uh, I, I, I look at this page all the time. I consistently see around 30 to 60 cents. Uh, so it's only hashing at about half the speed that it's you know, supposed to be doing. Mining's been tough. It's been frustrating. Some companies like Gold Shell have lost even more respect from me and, and obviously many others as well to 
uh, have a device selling for over ten thousand dollars and then you have a version that is uh, like three times better or four times better actually basically four original AL boxes stuffed into this that you can get for not even one thousand dollars it's insane the that was just over the course of a few months I also have the AL1 from Bitmain which they basically did the same thing got into this at a $30,000 uh, price point you can order the same thing today about a month later with basically delivery within a week uh, for one-third of the price and this is of no fault to ASIC marketplace we're an affiliate with them we've got the best coupon code in the world that you can use with them punch in uh, that code it's down in the video description below if you want to grab it please use our link if you want to support our channel and our content we don't get any credit if you only use our code and don't actually uh, click our link but this thing is quickly gone from earning a lot to it's still a substantial amount uh, but it's a far cry from every honestly probably breaking even on that cryptocurrency because I'm mining a pretty consistent 35 coins a day, which has honestly been very cool and relieving to see it finally, you know, take a break from plummeting in mining returns. But that amount of coin is not mind blowing at all. It's about $49 USD per day. The coin continues to trend down. Over the last month, it's gone down 13% two weeks 18 percent mining is really fun and engaging and it can be super lucrative uh, but it can also go pretty poorly there as well so we'll see uh, but yeah this the the main piece of this right is the nice hash news looking at a couple alternatives or just simply going back to directly mining the coin I really appreciated the option to mine this cryptocurrency and get paid out straight in BTC it's also like really easy to work my taxes when I utilize uh, systems like that. But we see things like Blake 3, which is the mining algorithm for Alfier, uh, most profitable proof of work al algorithm for crypto miners, cast or cast with slips and rankings. Uh, so <laughs> that's not going to help the difficulty at all. Uh, uh, a lot of people, they just do, do not do enough research and it is super painful. We look at uh emissions right we look at emissions and we see casp at about a million bucks doge at 1.5 million bitcoin at 27 million dollars we see alf right how's how much does that put out 0.8 btc right so i don't know fifty thousand dollars in uh coins per day so fifty thousand dollars right so uh coins like nervous network are putting out double the amount uh which is why that's a good chunk of our mining farm and We'll see where that goes. I hope that works out. But $50,000 in daily emission doesn't even put it in the top 10 tracked coins here. So, hey, I'm Vosk. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like we're fading away down here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. 10 seconds of tales. We're running on every video. Hope you enjoyed the content. And uh, let me know any questions, comments you have down below, what you think about this move, if you think U.S. citizens will be banned, uh, and what you want to see us cover in some of the next videos. As always, channel is nothing without you. So seriously, sincerely, thank you.